Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be running a to-do benchmark between the Xperia X Compact, the Xperia Z5 Compact, and other phones in the X series. So again, that includes the Z5 Compact, the X Compact, the XA, the XA Ultra, the X, and the X Performance. So let's get started. Alright, so you started running this across all the phones. So you see here we're on the first stage for everything. Now, I do expect the Xperia Z5 Compact to come out on top. Or rather, I expect the X Performance followed by the Z5. Now, as you probably already know, the X Compact more of a mid-range this year. Not like the high-end device that the Z5 Compact was last year. Although it is, of course, a year newer, so see how that plays in. So some of these, like the XA Ultra, you can tell, really struggling. Same with the XA, of course. Now the XA, XA Ultra do have the worst specs of the bunch, MediaTek Helio processor, uh, P10, the XA is 2GB RAM versus 3 for the XA Ultra. Alright, so now we're on the garden for most of it. So yeah, a very clear difference between the XA phones and the other ones. So the Z5 Compact, uh, Snapdragon 810, 2 gigabytes of RAM, it did come out last year, everything else came out this year, the last few months. Alright, it's so now about halfway done. So the X Compact and the X both have uh, three gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 650, and the leader of the bunch, three gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 820 X Performance. So again, you have pretty similar specs with these two phones, the uh, X Compact and the X. Pretty similar specs between the XA and the XA Ultra, although there is one gigabyte RAM difference in favor of the XA Ultra, and then the X Performance. The Z5 Compact, both Snapdragon phones, uh, although Snapdragon 810 versus 820, 2GB RAM versus 3. Alright, nearing the tail end here, uh, three or rather two thirds done. So just my prediction, I think that it's going to be X Performance, then Z5 Compact, then I would say either X or X Compact, followed by XA and XA Ultra. Alright, now three quarters done. And once they start approaching, <coughs> excuse me, once they start approaching 100%, I'll flip them over. Just to make it a little bit more suspenseful. Alright, so Z5 Compact is hit 90.
All right, so Z5 compact going to be the first one to finish. You saw there, 97. Doesn't really matter when they finish, but just flipping them over so I can go over the rankings at the end of the video. X compact. XA. XA Ultra. All right, so as you saw right there, phone fell over. Uh, I am recording this with the Xperia Z5 Premium, but it's fine. Done that plenty of times, just too lazy to edit it out. Um, but regardless, so the, the test is done, went pretty much as I expected. Last place is the XA. See there, a score of 46,811. Uh, now again, this has this uh, MediaTek Helio P10 processor with two gigabytes of RAM. Not surprising at all that it came in last place exactly as expected. And it is a very capable phone, guys, at least in terms of day-to-day -day usage. If you're playing high-end games, it's not going to be as good, obviously. But again, pretty fast phone in day-to-day -day usage. And that's going to be a theme for the newer uh, phones in this video. Finishing right above that, although a little bit higher. Score of 49,207 for the XA Ultra. And so again, similar specs with this, although it does have an extra gigabyte RAM. MediaTek Helio P10 processor with 3GB RAM. Sometimes, guys, you run the um, benchmark and get really abnormal results, but not the case here. Uh, next up is the X Compact. So, a score of 76,384. Pretty much mind what I expected, but guys, just keep in mind this phone actually is the fastest Xperia phone on the market right now in terms of day to day use. So if you are playing high-end games, it's not going to be as capable as some of the other ones. But in terms of day-to-day -day use, it is the fastest. Faster than the American version of the Galaxy phones. Uh, pretty close to the fastest phone on the market, which is a 7, iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So again, that has a um, Snapdragon 650, 3GB RAM, score of 76,000. And right above that, again, very similar specs of this phone is the X, or rather just the regular X. Score of 77,269. Again, three gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 650. All right, and so now we're starting to get a little bit more dispersed in the scores. A uh, score of 87,886 for the Z5 Compact. So guys, I will say that the X Compact definitely faster than the Z5 Compact, although if you're playing high in games, uh, Z5 Compact may have an advantage there. So yeah, I, I do have to say a little bit disappointing, at least in terms of the raw numbers, that it's about 11,000 below the Z5 Compact. Of course, because it's a year difference. Uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 810 for the Z5 Compact. And finally, first place, very good score. The Xperia X Performance, score of 138,446. And let me show you that compares with the other phones in the rankings. So there's some newer phones that aren't on this list, like the Galaxy Note 7. But you see there, right up there with some of the best. And guys, I will be getting the Xperia XZ. Uh, should be on Tuesday, so we'll be redoing this test when that comes out. Alright everyone, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And again guys, I will say that the X Compact is the fastest of the Xperia phones in day to day use. So obviously it counts as a lot, but if you're playing high in games, it may not be as good. Alright everyone, thanks again for watching, and let me know in the comments section what video you want to see next.